Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, it's been a long day. It's 8.30 at night. I've worked all day. I went to our widows group and spoke and we talked and shared and uh, had a lovely time uh, with them. And I'm back home and I just started eating and I saw someone had commented on another video and so I started reading that comment and then there was more comments and I had no idea so many of you were commenting on that video and I want to say thank you for sharing thank you for reaching out it's it's such a good thing to know that there are other people out there that feel the same way that experience the same things that we're going through and we're all in this together and you are not alone. I just want you to know you are not alone. So I want to talk to y'all a little bit about exhaustion because exhaustion is very real when it comes to grieving. And um, I am just getting past that after a year and a half after my husband passed away. So it's been a long time time it seems like that I've just been totally exhausted but now I'm getting to where I can have energy to work on the weekends around the house and, and get some things done and I'm feeling accomplished which gives me more energy so that's something that maybe you can do around the house if you have projects that you need to get done working living on a farm there's always projects i always have something to do so it's 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 never ending here even though i only have one acre i have some chickens i have my goats i have a few farm cats that are outside and i have two inside cats and i have my livestock guardian dogs so i have a lot on one little acre and it keeps me very busy but literally that has helped me so much in this grieving process to get up in the morning get up early in the morning and sometimes before sunrise and right now I can it's daylight by the by the time I go outside now so I don't have to have my my hat with a light so I don't step on any snakes or anything in the morn which is kind of scary um, saw one the other day after moving a lot of hay and he poked his head out of from under the pallet on my last trip to the lean-to carrying some hay and I was so thankful I'm like thank you Jesus and thank you snake for not poking your head out earlier because I would have been freaked out I, it's a rat snake and I think it's the rat snake that's been around our, that's lived around our barn for about four years. So he does his job. She, he, whatever it is, it does its job. And I haven't seen any mice this year. So we're going to keep it around. We're not going to kill it or do anything. So as long as it's not aggressive, we're, we're fine. Um, it's just a little scary sometimes seeing a snake. <laughs> But um, anyway, back to exhaustion. It is so real. It's even now, just thinking about doing a video exhausts me. Like going to the widow's group and knowing that I'm going to have to talk there is exhausting because I have to visit my grieving. I can't just put it aside. I can't just leave it behind and walk away I literally have to deal with my grieving with this widow's group and that has helped me tremendously it helps us all share what we're feeling we share what we're going through how we feel that week how we feel at that moment how we felt that day whatever we just we share and we had um one elderly widow there tonight and and she is a beautiful soul and she's had tremendous loss in her life and it was so wonderful hearing from her and her wisdom and 
that God has brought her through so much that I know that we can make it because she has made it. And you can make it because I have made it and others have made it through this path. We walk on this path because we have to. We were not given this choice, but it's something that we're going to survive. That's why they call it the surviving spouse. We survive some horrible feelings horrible pain and um it, it's it's tough it, it's very tough and i i hear you i'm with you that it's the hardest thing that you will go through is losing losing a spouse or losing a child or losing a parent i still have my parents but my children have lost two dads and i cannot relate to them and they are still having trouble with that. Um, so my my son is is reaching out to a, a doctor to to help him with that because he he's exhausted way more than me, and is is dealing with grief, and um, he's been trying to plow through it and work and have life changes in his life like a new house and all this and it has been overwhelming and, and instead of just because he's been plowing through it it has caught up with him so and now he's needing to deal with the grief dealing with the loss and that's going to take some time it, as you know grieving takes time it's not an overnight thing even though we want it to be an overnight thing and wish it could be an overnight thing. It, it's it's not. Um, it will be grieving partially the rest of our lives. Is it, it's not wholly, but we will grieve partially. Um, even though every day it doesn't seem to get better, but every year it will. It's. You will progress down this path and it will get better. I promise. I promise. The the pain will ease, the the heaviness will ease some. I mean, being a widow, we have a lot of weight on our shoulders because we are unable to share that load with our spouse anymore. So their load was transferred onto our shoulders and so that is heavy and that is difficult and sometimes I just want a little lighter load and I'm sure you do too but this this is where we're at right now and so and unless you want to get someone else in your life to share the load you know being single the rest of our lives we're just gonna have to learn to carry the weight and and transition some things and maybe lighten our load uh, so that we can make it so that we can make it through the day make it through the week make it through the month make it through the year anyway I am rabbit trailing so let me get back to exhaustion um, trying to eat better that it that's hard and it's getting harder these days with food prices going up but if you can plant a garden because fresh vegetables fresh fruit is so good uh, we had um our first zucchini from our garden today and uh it was it was very good and it just i don't know it just brings a certain energy when you know that those vegetables and the fruit have not been sitting in the store for uh, a few weeks that you actually get it fresh and you eat it fresh. So, um, and we help your grocery bill too. <laughs> but, um, try and take care of yourself. Uh, I, I take supplements. I, I take like kale and kelp and biotin and I, I try and stay as healthy as I can 
because I need it. I, I'm 50. I need energy. I need to feel better. And I need to stay healthy enough to where I can take care of everything here and still take care of my kids, even though they're 24 and 26 and they can take care of themselves, but they still need their mom. And just like all of our kids, they will, they will need their mom the rest of our life. I still need mine and uh, I'm 50. So I, I depend on her prayers. Um, when there's an emergency, she's the first person I call, you know, so that, um, she can she can start praying down heaven and and that's what she does she she's a prayer warrior and i'm so thankful to have a mom like that so um try and get enough sleep that will help with exhaustion um try and get out of your house try and do some work outside um, sometimes we just have a lot of toxins it, get outside and maybe if, if you're able to, if you're healthy enough to work outside and do enough work to where you're sweating. My son worked out yesterday outside moving some rocks and stuff and he said he felt better after sweating. So that's why I'm saying maybe just getting outside and, and doing some work if you're able to will really help you and it'll help you feel accomplished when we feel accomplished we gain more energy so try and make some goals try and even if it's just a daily goal even if it's just one thing try and make a goal accomplishment accomplish it cross that finish line and you will feel better and you will feel better about yourself it's all about taking care of yourself and if you are so way down and if you're depressed you you may need to get some help for that um go to a doctor that you can trust and let them know what's going on don't don't try and, and do this by yourself don't try and plow through it when um you need some help uh we just had a um men mental health awareness month at our church and people at our church got up and um gave their story about um needing to get on some medication to help them through some very dark days and depression and there's nothing wrong with that. Even if we are Christians, it's it's like they were saying, if you have a headache, you go take medicine for your headache. If if you um, have high blood pressure, you go get medicine for that. So if you need to be on medication for depression, that is okay. Even if you are a Christian, that is okay. Get some help. Get better. You're not going to be on it forever. Just get better. Take care of yourself. Only you can take care of you. Okay? Um, try and eat the best you can. Try and get enough sleep. If you're able to, try try to do some exercises. If you're depressed, try and get out of the house. Um, when I lost my... When I had my first miscarriage, it was devastating. And I really went into a, a pretty dark depression. But I felt better when I would go outside and sit on my steps. Just being outside, breathing fresh air, getting out of the four walls of the house always made me feel better. So I'm just trying to give you an idea of, of what you can do, what you can try. And um, just go outside, go to lunch with some friends. Find a group, even if it's at a church, even if you don't attend that church. Like our widow's group, it is open to anybody who wants to come and and, and be with us and, and share because we need to share. We need to be with people who are in our shoes that, that feel the way we do, even though we're not walking exactly the same path. 
but we we understand each other. We understand each other's tears. We understand each other's frustrations. We understand each other's not knowing what to say or not knowing what to do or being overwhelmed when you get a piece of mail in the paper a piece of mail that has his name on it or it's a bill from his sickness or, or whatever. Those things can be so overwhelming, especially in the first uh, weeks and months after our spouse's death. And I completely understand that because I, I have gotten overwhelmed with just the smallest things and it's because it's just a heavy load and, and we we took all that load that our husbands had and it's on us and it's something to get used to and it's um and it takes time don't beat yourself up it takes time to heal it takes time to know how to carry the weight of what we carry now. It takes time to know what to do with our family or if we have our empty house. It takes time to um, get used to that, um, to get used to different things that you you need to start doing um maybe when you're ready when you're ready put away his clothes you don't have to put all of them away but just put a few of them away you know and whatever you can do whenever it's time you will know when it's time and sometimes you will cry sometimes you can put just a few pieces of his clothing away and then you say, that's enough. I can't do anymore. That's fine. Each of us are different. And each of us are grieving different. And each of us can handle things differently. Some people just put all their stuff away, all their spouse's stuff away in a few weeks. Some, it takes a year, year and a half, two years to put some of the things away. And that's okay. That's okay. It's... It's been over a year and a half and I still have my husband's favorite suit that I love to see him in in my closet with a few other things that of his. That's okay. So don't beat yourself up. This is a process that you're going through at your time. It, it, there's not a scheduled time to get through this. It's not like, okay, in six months you have to do this or you have to do that. This is what you can handle. Go at it at your own pace. And it's okay. It's okay to go at your own pace. Believe me. It, it, it's okay. You're okay. You're loved. You're cared for. Everyone here is rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. I want you to make it. I want you to have a life beyond loss. And I want you to be able to live again. I want you to be able to live in abundance. Not with things, but with energy and mental clarity. And your your heart healed as much as it can be healed. So that is what I pray over you. That you live and abundance with happiness and and joy and energy and health and wholeness so um, I know I really haven't talked too much about exhaustion but uh, let me know in the comments what you do for um, trying to get through your exhaustion and being so tired because I know I have been so tired grieving and uh, sometimes it comes in waves sometimes I feel really good several days and then one day I don't feel all that great and then you know it's like 
today at work. I was like, I really just don't want to be here. And I have felt so good all week long. I've had so much energy. But yet this afternoon, it it was all coming crashing down. But I still had the energy. I just didn't want to be at work. I just, I was kind of done. And we get kind of done emotionally. And that's okay. That's okay. We're all in the same boat. We're all in this together. And we're all going to make it. So, um, I hope you like the video. Um, I'm going to try and get some more videos and try and do this more often. Uh, like I said, when I think about doing a video, it just, it's so exhausting just to even think about doing a video, get, get alone just doing it. So hopefully I will share some more with y'all and, um, hopefully I'll go outside and, uh, share my, my little, little garden that I have and, um, let you see the baby goats and, um, let you see kind of what I do. And, uh, cause I have so many projects, like literally my son was like, is that all you think about is work? I'm like, cause there's so much to do because when you're grieving, it's hard to do anything. So my farm was like on coast for a year. And now instead of keeping up with everything, I'm catching up with everything and working full time and having church on Sunday, I have one day a week to get caught up on everything around the house, everything on the farm. And so that takes time. It takes time to catch up because I was tired so, and, and that's okay. If you're going through that right now, that's okay. You do what you can do right now. If, if just coming home from work and going to bed, taking a nap and then getting up and eating something and then it's like watching something, watching YouTube, being on Facebook or, or watching a movie, if that's all you could do and then go to bed again, that's fine. It's, it's do what you could do at this time. I completely understand and I know a lot of us understand that um, we all grieve dif differently and um, we all have different energy levels. We all have different mental clarities, uh, especially if you're still in the widow's fog. That That's an experience in itself and that's for another time. But um, I hope you all all have a wonderful evening. And I hope you have a wonderful night. And I hope you all sleep very well and sleep in peace. And that you wake up well rested and ready for a new day tomorrow. See y'all later.